for anyone that follows me on social media or of course follow me on various other websites including my own CapricornCity.com know that I'm a huge wrestling fan and most importantly in this regard I'm a huge Ring of Honor fan for me Ring of Honor it's kind of like the ECW to older generation fans even though I came up and watched ECW I didn't have that necessary uh, connection that emotional ties to ECW in the, in the same manner that fans had with it that were diehard ECW fans but Ring of Honor that was my promotion that to a certain extent still is my promotion even though I grew up watching WWF I grew up watching WCW I grew up watching ECW and, and various local independent promotions Ring of Honor became the promotion for me and I'm not going to say one of the main reasons originally was because of the Briscoes because of Jay and Mark Briscoe though I did enjoy watching their work it was the Samoa Joes, the CM Punks, the Brian Danielsons, the Nigel McGuinnesses of the world that really drew me into Loki. Can't forget about that amazing red. Can't forget about them. That drew me into the realm of honor, as I like to call it. But as the years progressed, and as the Briscoes just dominated and got better and better as a tag team, and as performers in general, they became Ring of Honor for me. So when I saw the news that Jay Briscoe had passed. I saw him trending originally. I just gotten back in the house and I saw Jay Briscoe trending and I couldn't remember if it was Tuesday or Wednesday so I was thinking it's Wednesday and I forgot about Tuesday and uh, somehow the Briscoes showed up on AEW or something. And then I saw the news. And I haven't felt this way about a wrestler's passing probably since Eddie Guerrero's passing. Jay Briscoe, to me, defined not only what it meant to be a part of Ring of Honor, that die-hard connection to a promotion that one name becomes synonymous with. I have alluded to when I talked about Ring of Honor in the past via Club WWI, via World Wrestling Insanity, which was hated by James Gutman many, many years ago, that you know various stars like a Red Titus or a BJ Whitmer, depending on the circumstance, could have been the Tommy Dreamer of Ring of Honor. But in a lot of ways, Jay Briscoe was the Tommy Dreamer of Ring of Honor. He was, in a lot of ways, the heart and soul of Ring of Honor and what it represented in terms of not just the athleticism, in terms of not just the storytelling, but in terms of the dedication there are certain talents that become synonymous with a promotion not only just because of their longevity there but because of what they've given to that promotion what they produced in that promotion the highlights the matches the storylines jay briscoe is one of those talents especially when it comes to ring of honor but beyond ring of honor you have a plethora of great matches in companies like pwg companies like gcw companies like house of glory even international companies like Pro Wrestling Noah. There is a laundry list. I was looking through uh, the cage match listings of Jay Briscoe's matches, you know, just to, you know, just for a list per, per se. And it's just amazing looking through those matches. I can still vividly see a majority of them. You know, any ones that, that popped out, I can see them because of how not only great they were, but because of how much of a landmark they made on Ring of Honor and independent wrestling in general. But beyond the wrestling, beyond the great matches, there was a character behind Jay Briscoe that was second to none. He had a realism about himself that was second to none. And to a certain extent, that realism got him in trouble. Second to none. It was not long after his first Ring of Honor World title victory that he said some things that pretty much blackballed him in a lot of ways in the global scope of professional wrestling and even though he had changed even though he had grown it still held him back to a certain extent but yet the Briscoes kept fighting and kept pushing and to me became the tag team of the last 20 years I say this not just because of what's the circumstance, but because I've said it before this. I, I, I truly believe that when it comes to the best tag team of the last 20 or so years, the Briscoes are that team. And it's amazing 
to realize just how much of a status they've created for themselves on a smaller scale compared to so many other great tag teams that have come up in the last 10 to 15 years. They were the best to do it in their time. But going through Twitter and seeing the reactions from fans and and wrestlers and peers and people that worked alongside them, the most important thing about Jay Briscoe is the man behind the name Jay Briscoe. Jamin Pugh was a father, he was a brother, he was a son. He was a person that, by all accounts, was one of the most stand-up individuals you can meet. I had the honor of meeting him in 2013. And that proved true, but that was only a short interaction. That was nothing compared to what other individuals have had the privilege of knowing and meeting and befriending the man behind the name Jay Briscoe. I could ramble on and on and talk about all my memories of watching Jay Briscoe live. I could talk about all my interactions with other Ring of Honor fans and our discussions about Jay Briscoe and the Briscoes and why they are the best tag team in the world or why they don't deserve to be the best tag team in the world or what have you. I could go on and on about that, but it really doesn't matter. The fact is, is that someone who had left an indelible mark on not only the industry that he worked in, but also the people that he was surrounded by has left this world. All I can say is as a fan, as a viewer, as a dedicated Briscoe fanatic, and, and all I can say is as a fan, and as a Briscoe fan, as a Ring of Honor fan, as a wrestling fan, and, and most importantly as a fan of good people. Rest in power, Jay Briscoe. Rest in power, Jamin Pugh. I can only send my thoughts, my prayers to the family. I could never imagine what they're going through right now. And um, I, I really don't know what else to say, but just man up. Them boys forever.